Hi everyone, welcome to another Campfire Conversations. Daniel and I have been fortunate to participate in a wilderness survival basic course this weekend with our wonderful facilitators Dan, Rachel and Sam who are going to have a chat to us today about why are survival skills so important in the modern age? That's, that's a great question. I mean, I, th I think um, for someone who didn't grow up with um, really being connected to nature, when I, when I finally opened up that, that door, um, I felt alive in many ways for, for the first time. Uh, when, I, when I kindled a fire, uh, when I made a shelter that I slept in, uh, for the first time I felt like, oh, this is, this is normal. And in many ways, the first 18 years of my life, I didn't always feel that comfortable. I didn't know what I was missing necessarily, but when, when I finally tasted the natural world, and for me it was survival skills in, in particular, those things that sustained us as, as humans for so long, when I rekindled that, uh, then I was like, whoa, this is incredible. I felt like, I felt alive for the first time. I guess that's the, that's the easiest way to, to describe. I'd like to concentrate on what is it that makes you, the, that feeling alive? What is that mm. feeling inside that you get mm. from practicing these skills and feeling like you master them? Mm. I, I would definitely say for me, I, I haven't mastered any of them and I don't know that I ever will. Um, but for me, when I complete a spoon or I get a coal or something like that, there is this, this feeling of self-sufficiency, um, of I can do it, I can provide for myself, but also there is this feeling of, like Dan was saying, connecting to generations before me, but also just a deeper understanding of myself. Sometimes I don't get a call, and there's not, it's not about the physical, what I'm doing, but it's more about the internal, where am I in my internal headspace. Um, if I'm not thankful, usually I don't get a call. That's, yeah, that, that fascinated us when you said that yesterday, um, that what you're feeling inside really has the effect. And I know with me, with fire, because I was going from a place of fear, like you were saying, it was very hard to start fire yeah. yeah and kind of bouncing off of both of these guys um, I just I, personally it's this uh, deeper connection to the uh, my ancestral roots and um, really understanding our functions as human beings um, homo sapiens even Neanderthals um, there's this whole evolution of why we are built the way we are you know if you look into stone tools like there's, you know, functionalities of our thumbs, um, gathering, hunting, and um, you'll, you'll notice that a lot when you're practicing these skills. And then, as Sam said, you know, the emotional aspect too comes alive. So here you are, you know, gathering berries or working on bow drill to create a coal, and there's this innate feeling that you, inside, um, that goes back many generations, and if anything's off, it, you know, spiritually or emotionally, then the outcome of that, um, you might prick your finger, or you might not just be able to make a call. It, it, it's very deep rooted. Mm. Thank you. Um, I think it's going to be really fascinating exploring more of this, and Daniel and I are very keen to come back <laughs> and learn more from you guys. So thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Yeah.